you know, if you can get a true strength and conditioning coach, I strongly recommend that. Um, there is a huge personal trainer movement in this country, which has a, a lot of benefits. And I think that most people do more intense, better workouts with a personal trainer. But let's get out of the personal trainer term and let's talk about true strength and conditioning. We know that if you work with a strength and conditioning coach and if you do strength and conditioning of your legs, you're going to delay fatigue in an endurance event. It's almost counterintuitive, isn't it? You know, if you want to run like a Kenyan, then be sort of skinny like a Kenyan. Um, but if you're going to be on a bike for six hours and then you're going to do a marathon, you need to be strong. And so strength training does not improve your aerobic capacity per se, but it delays the time to failure and it improves performance and it probably reduces your injury rate as well. So again, I'm a big advocate of true strength and conditioning coaches. And that's what endurance athletes like skaters, speed skaters have, have done for years.